We have an update now on breaking news. We first brought you at noon today, months after Ann McSween disappeared after finishing work at a bar. There's been an arrest in the case, and tonight we're learning more about the man accused, 26-year-old Joseph Thomas. Police are keeping quiet about this arrest, but people who know the suspect are talking to News Channel 5's Dan Haggerty. Dan, what are they telling you? Well, today was the first that we've heard about this suspect, so we went to his neighborhood, and according to his neighbors and his landlord, though, Police have been asking questions about Joseph Thomas for months. It was Thanksgiving morning last year when 49-year-old mother Ann McSween was found dead, beaten and stabbed behind the local bar where she worked. Now, more than six months later, police have their suspect, 26-year-old Joseph Thomas. And according to Susan Gorsha, he stayed here. He this didn't... is where he lived, in her house. The police took it all. They took everything? Yes. Like what? What sorts of things did they take? Everything he had. Everything. Gorsha says she let Thomas live here in exchange for household chores and says he was a friend of her daughter. She also told me police investigated Thomas for months and stopped by often. What did they say to you about why they were here? They just wanted to, uh, to look at things. And talk to him? And talk to him and... They talked to him, and then I told him he had to leave. Thomas was arrested this morning in Madison Township, but Gorsha says he lived here off and on for years and was staying here the night McSween was killed. Do you think that he's guilty? I don't know. I'm going to leave that up to everybody else to decide. I'm not going to say he's guilty, and I'm not going to say he's not guilty. I don't know. And a neighbor told me that police knocked on every single door on that street asking questions about Thomas. But when the police started showing up, neighbors saw less and less of Joseph Thomas. He's scheduled to be arraigned tomorrow morning. Reporting live, I'm Dan Haggerty, News Channel 5. Dan, this still seems like such a mystery. Do you know anything about a motive or police saying anything about that? Well, that's a big question. Hopefully we can get some more information like that from police following tomorrow's court hearing. I did talk to the chief today, though, and he says that he doesn't want to compromise this investigation. Understandable. All right. Thank you, Dan.